Hello, this is the police here again. And I have an Asus GTX 650 graphics card. Just came in the mail. It's their one gigabyte model. And then here's just the overall packaging. I guess it does have the direct CU. It's supposed to be 20% cooler, vastly quieter. And then on the back here, I noticed something that was really cool. Was it said it supports up to four HD displays? And then they show a little diagram right here. That you can have up to four different LCD monitors or TVs off of your outputs. Which I find that very handy. You know, it might come in handy in the future if I get more displays and stuff. And then overall, the cooling design you can see from the picture here looks really good too with the heat pipes. So, I guess let's unbox it. I bought this from New Egg. And here's the beast inside there. Wow, that's a big card. Keepers. This thing is massive. It's like unreal. I had a GTS 450 before this. I thought that card was big, but no, this card is bigger yet. <laughs> this thing is like a monstrosity of a card. <clears throat> and then it looks like the package also comes with a Molex to 6 pin adapter, which is kind of handy, but I don't need one, but for somebody that would, that'd be a lifesaver. <laughs> and is there anything else in here? That's some packaging. Like <clears throat> some driver CDs, the GPU tweak software it might come in handy if I decide to overclock. And then here's this basic setup about the card. So I don't know, you probably know how to install cards anyway, so especially if you're watching this. So it's not hard, just install it in the slot, put the screw in, or lock your toolless deal if you have one. And then you put in the external power and then you plug in your monitor. Pretty simple. Make sure your computer's off when you do it though. <laughs> so I'm sure you all want to see the card. So I will be careful as to not get any static electricity on it. Very nice looking. It's even got the colorful thing on the fan there. And this is something I just, I really like how they added that on. So when it's inside your computer, you see that nice ASUS logo right there along with these heat pipes. I don't know what it is about heat pipes, but they always, they just look like a sign of like power or something. Or it looks kind of like a exhaust manifold coming off of an engine or something. You know, just something about them that they look nice. It's got a pretty massive heat sink on there too. I don't know if you can see that in there, but it's got the heat sink coming clear out to here. And then clear over to here on the end of the card right there. <clears throat> I'm not really sure what they're doing here with all this extra. Especially with these vents here. <laughs> Must have too many ports or something to be able to make the airflow go out that way. That was my only concern about this card, is if it's going to just blow heat around inside here, or I guess we'll find out when I put it in, but yes, overall this is a very nice looking card, so I thought you guys might like to see an unboxing video of the GTS, GTX 650 graphics card by ASUS. And this was just released September 13th, I believe it was, so that was just over many days ago, be uh, 
a week and about four days since I did this review, so, so yeah. Just have to put this in here and see if it works now.